Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's prove that in a graph that's both planar and satisfies the conditions of being simple, so at most one edge between any two vertices, and that's an undirected edge, um, and also that there's more, uh, there's more than one edge in the graph as well. Um, so given so. Um, so it's simple and it's undirected. And, um, and uh, the number of edges is bigger than one. Then, and assume that it's planar. So with these basic assumptions, let's show that there exists a vertex somewhere in the graph such that um, its degree, meaning the number of vertices that actually touches it, has to be less than six. So it has to be at most five, but no more. So there is some vertex in there. Just if we make this basic assumption, there must be at least one vertex satisfying that. So let's go ahead and prove that idea. Okay, so first of all, let's let's try to add up all the degrees of all the vertices in the whole entire graph. So degree of a vertex is how many edges touch it. And if we add all that up, let's think about what that sum would be. Think about for each edge, for every single edge, every single edge contributes a touch to this vertex and a touch to another vertex. In other words, each edge contributes two touches to this entire sum. In fact, they contribute all of the touches, which means that this sum is precisely just two times the number of edges. Okay, next, um, how can we use this idea? Well, let's think about this. Um, what if we were to take the average of this sum right here? The average of this sum, well, would simply be to divide by how many things are in the sum, which is the number of vertices, uh, just like that. Okay. Now, is it not true that um, the minimum degree of any vertex, so let's suppose that the minimum degree that actually occurs in the graph, assuming this is a finite graph, so we have a minimum, um, let's call that M. So M is going to be the minimum of all the degrees that actually happen in the graph. Okay. All right. Now, this minimum is actually going to be less than or equal to the average of all the degrees, right? Because it's minimum, so it's less than or equal to the average of all the degrees. So we naturally get this inequality right here. It's kind of a fun little inequality, and this inequality will help us. Okay, so here, let's proceed. All right, all right. So the way we're gonna we're we're gonna get it to help us help us is we're also gonna use an inequality that we have for um, planar graphs that satisfy these different criterion, and we've seen that in a previous video. So this particular criterion that we're going to use is, is that the number of edges has to be less than or equal to three NV minus six. Okay, and this, this particular inequality comes from the Euler characteristic formula um, combined with these conditions. Actually, we'll guarantee this particular inequality. All right, so let's use this inequality and this inequality together to actually get it. Notice we have a six right here. Hmm, maybe it'll be useful, maybe it won't. Okay, we want, but in the end, we wanna show that M has to be less than or equal to six. All right, let's see what, let's see what we need. Okay, so let's write down what we have. M is less than or equal to two over NV times NE 
And let's use an inequality right here. Any is less than, we can kind of keep this part right here, but replace any with something here, which is um, three NV minus six. All right. So multiply this through and we end up getting, oh well, look, the NVs cancel right here, the first part. So we get six, multiply it through, we get minus 12 over NV. Wow. It looks like the minimum degree has to be less than six minus a positive number. Oh, and NV is, yeah, okay. So it looks like for sure that we're going to end up, in fact, thinking about this, since we're assuming that there's uh, more than one edge, I mean, the number of vertices has to be um, bigger than two. And since the number of vertices is bigger than two, um, this thing right here will be greater than zero as desired. Um, and in particular, it's going to be, so what this value is, is it's going to be bigger than zero, but it's going to be less than six because this for sure is non-zero. And in particular, the number of vertices is finite. Um, so if we assume it's finite graph. So therefore, this tells us for sure that the minimum degree is less than six. So at most, so we can always find some vertex hiding in the graph somewhere in this condition, thus such that um, such that this will be true, such that we will have um, it only touch uh, up to five edges at most. Thanks for watching.